Hello and welcome to Clarinet Ninja. Happy New Year. It's January 1st, 2023. I was sitting around thinking about what are some resolutions we can all make to be better clarinet players and better musicians in the coming year. Here's what I came up with, and it kind of came up organically in this order. I'm sitting around, New Year's Day, doing my thing. My friend, Evan Christopher, if you don't know who Evan Christopher is, you're about to find out. Evan is one of the finest jazz clarinet players that I've ever heard. Great musician, great clarinet player, great person. Uh, I've known him since the early 90s. We've gotten old. In any case, he texts me about 6 o'clock. says, come on down to the ear in. I didn't want to. Well, I did want to, but I didn't want to spend the hour it would take on the train. And then the hour coming home from the Bronx down to lower Manhattan. But I thought to myself... Here's what my resolution is for the year. I want to share it with you. Do the hard thing. Overcome that obstacle. An hour on the train to hear what I heard tonight was nothing. Well, it was two hours because I had to come back. The point is, don't let those obstacles stand in your way. Do the hard work. Do a little bit of extra work practicing. Be a little bit more thoughtful and organized in your practicing. Whatever obstacle stands in between you and success with the clarinet, loving the clarinet, enjoying music, do a little something extra. That's my resolution for myself this year. But let's get to it. I also, when I hear Evan play, it reminds me of a number of things. First of all, everything we do to learn to play the clarinet is in service of music. And that can be easy to forget. When we are working on scales, we're working on tone, we're working on articulation, we're working on hand position, we're working on posture, we're working on air, we're doing all this stuff. But for what reason? It's for the music. Now, Evan plays a much different style of music than me and plays the clarinet in a much different way than me. Uh, He actually plays a much different clarinet than me. Uh, He plays an Albert System clarinet. It's incredible. I don't even know how to play a scale on that. But when I hear him play, what I hear is somebody who is in service of the music and fun all the time. And if you know me, you know I'm into the clarinet, I'm into music, and I'm into fun. So let's hear a little bit of it. When I hear things like this, I hear the joy just coming through.
when I get past that joy, I hear clarinet playing that has intentional choices. They're not the choices I would make or I could make as a musician, as a clarinetist, because I play a much different style of music. But wow, what inspiration it is to hear somebody playing in the service of the music. Happy New Year, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. If you're ever in New York City on a Sunday night, there's a regular gig down at the Ear Inn, and here it is. Uh, I can't tell you that Evan's there every week because he's not. All of these recordings are generously okayed by John Eric Kelso, the triple player on this gig, who is the leader, and Evan, who was kind enough to let me go ahead and wax on poetically about how great he is. Uh, I'd actually like to do a conversation with Evan. Uh, let me know if you think that that would be fun. And uh, hear a little bit more of his playing, because it is spectacular. And again, it's got the articulation, it's got the tone, it's got the air, it's got the technique. Let's have a great new year. Let's celebrate with Evan. Thanks for being here. And leave it down in the comments if you want to know anything about how to play the clarinet, how to attach it to music, anything about music, I'd love to talk about it. And if you can give me some ideas of what would be useful to you, let me know. Happy New Year. Thanks for being here.